Welcome back everyone. You may have just purchased an iPhone 13, so here are the first 13 things to do on your specific iPhone 13, the newest one. Now the first thing I would highly recommend you guys to do, to be honest, on any iPhone that you purchase, is to update your iPhone, especially on the newest one. Every single year, whenever you buy a new iPhone, there is almost always a update for your iPhone that fixes a lot of the issues that you may have. So open up your settings panel just like this, you want to scroll down into your general settings, which is right here. Then you want to go and click on software update, which is right here. And you want to see if there's an update available. Now, even though I have the latest iPhone and I just purchased it yesterday or the day before, I still have an update out. So chances are you also have an update. So go ahead and click on the download and install button right here. Install the update. And that is pretty much the first thing I would highly recommend you guys to do. Now the second thing, this is a new feature for not only iPhones, for the iPhone 13, but also for iOS 15 users and iPadOS 15 users as well. And this is making a backup, a full backup of your iPhone completely for free and it pretty much makes a backup of everything on your iPhone. Now it's only a 30 day backup, but it can still save you. And if you do it every once in a while, it can definitely save you for sure. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on the settings panel right here. You wanna scroll down until you see general, which is right here. We're going back here. Now we wanna scroll down to transfer or reset iPhone. And what we wanna do right here is we want to go and click get started. And this will allow you to essentially have extra iCloud space completely for free in order to actually go ahead and move to another iPhone. But we're not going to be moving to another iPhone. And this will essentially make a backup of everything that you have. Go and click here, click move all apps with a data to iCloud. It's going to automatically do it. And essentially you click done and you'll get this new little panel and it's going to back up everything to iCloud servers completely for free. And like I mentioned, it only stays there for 30 days, but it's still worth doing for sure. Now the next thing I would recommend doing since we're talking about iCloud is actually turning off iCloud Photo Sync. Now, if you need your photos stored up into iCloud, then keep it on, but it takes up a lot of iCloud storage and I usually don't like keeping it on to be honest. So go ahead and go into your settings. You wanna click on your iCloud name up here. You wanna go under iCloud right here and right there, there's this little photos icon. You wanna go ahead and click on photos and you want to turn iCloud photos off. Now me personally, like I mentioned, I like having it off. It just, you know, pretty much just saves some more storage on iCloud and allows me to store some other things up there. But you can do this after you make that full backup. And as long as you don't need anything for the 30 days, then you're pretty much set. Now, the next thing I would recommend doing is also within your settings panel. Now, as soon as you buy your iPhone, there's some things you may have to change around or do whatever. And one thing specifically is with the camera. So what we wanna do is we want to make our way over to our camera settings panel. So go under settings here. You wanna scroll down until you see camera which for us is right here. We wanna go and click on there. And then what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and click on the preserve camera settings option. So right here where it says preserve settings, we wanna go and click here. And we want to pretty much have all of these things on. So what this is going to do is it's going to preserve and remember the things that we actually have enabled on our iPhone. Now you can turn some things off, like if you don't want this on or this on, but camera mode I typically keep on and live photo setting I typically keep on as well. Which brings us to our next thing, which is turning off live photo on your camera app. Now, I personally hate it. I don't like it at all. If you know what live photo is, then you can always keep it on. But if you don't know what live photo is, I would recommend keeping it off. So you wanna make your way over to your camera application. You wanna go and click on photo right here. And on the top right, there's this little icon. If you go and click on it, you'll see this live section but you want to make sure it's the one that says live off and it has the you know circle with the kind of line going through it. I don't like live photo. It essentially makes a video of your photo. It takes up storage. It's harder to send out. And I actually just don't like it at all. So if you're like me, then you can go ahead and kind of disable it as well. Now, another thing you can do on top of that, because all of the iPhone 13s, including the 13 mini have OLED panels, you can actually go ahead and put a darker wallpaper on your specific iPhone and you can save a little bit of battery life. So this is another really cool thing. Every single dark pixel is fully turned off. So that's another thing I would highly recommend you guys to look at is to just putting in a dark wallpaper. But on top of that, another thing you can do is actually just turn on dark mode. So make your way back over to your settings panel. You'll pretty much come into a panel like this. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go into your display, which is right here, display and brightness. Go ahead and click on that. And you wanna go ahead and turn on dark mode, which is right here. Now what this is going to do is it's pretty much just going to go ahead and enable dark mode. So now all the pixels on your phone are going to be turned off or they're gonna be black. 
So for all those dark pixels, they're not going to be turning on. So this is another really cool thing you have. It's going to save a little bit of battery life. For the remainder of this video, I'll be on light mode, but you do have that option there, which is really awesome. Now, another thing with iPhone 13 and iOS 15 in general is focus mode. So what I would recommend you to do is swipe down from your control center right here. You'll see this little do not disturb option or you'll see focus mode right here. You want to go ahead and hold it down. And what I would recommend you to do is create these different focus modes for your specific, you know, iPhone. So if you use do not disturb a lot, maybe you want to set up different do not disturbs for personal apps, for work apps, and for sleep applications. You can go ahead and develop the ones you want and pretty much move on from there. And this is a new iOS 15 feature, so a majority of iPhones have it, but it's still really cool that it's on the iPhone 13s as well. Now, another thing I would recommend doing is turning off automatic brightness. I hate automatic brightness so much, and I don't know why they make it so hard to disable. So in order for you to disable it, you want to make your way over to your settings panel once more. You'll come into this panel. Then what you want to do is you want to go under accessibility. So accessibility is right here. You want to go ahead and click there. And then what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see display and text size. So display and text size is right here. You want to go ahead and click there. And then what you want to do is scroll all the way down until you see this auto brightness toggle. So all you have to do is go ahead and make sure it's disabled. Typically when you see it, it'll probably be like this. So you just want to make sure it's disabled like this and you can go and turn off the brightness or turn it down however you want to. And that will pretty much be how you turn on or off automatic brightness. Now, another thing within the settings panel is raise to wake. Now, this is another thing that I'm kind of annoyed about sometimes. I don't really like to, you know, have my phone kind of turn on when I lift it up every single time. So if you want to follow that same way, go into your settings, go under display and brightness, scroll down to raise to wake right here, and you can go ahead and turn this toggle off. And it's going to go ahead and make sure that every single time you pick up your iPhone, it doesn't automatically, you know, raise to wake your specific iPhone. And another thing is turning on true tone display. This will make it so it kind of sharpens your display a little bit and it'll kind of reformat itself every single lighting condition that you're in. And it's dynamic, so it looks beautiful. and makes the panel look so much better. And I would highly recommend you. It, it's pretty much like warms the display. I think that's the best way to put it. Now, the last thing I'm going to go ahead and show you is pretty much hiding the hidden photo, you know, little toggle within Photos app. So within the Photos application, you can hide photos and stuff, but you can still see the hidden photos right here. If I click here, it'll show me the hidden photos I have. So one thing I'm going to tell you guys is how to hide that hidden photos little option. So you want to go under your specific settings right here. You want to go under your photo section, which is all the way down here, right here. You want to click here. And then right where it says hidden album right here, you want to go ahead and toggle this off. So what this is going to do is it's going to hide, as you can see, it's here. If I go and click here, you can see it hides that specific hidden folder. So if you're somebody who has a lot of hidden folders and you want people to just kind of see them there, we'll go ahead and toggle this off. And if you want to have that folder back, go ahead and turn this on and you will see that the hidden folder will now be there so we can go and see them. So that's pretty much it. Those are pretty much the first 13 things that I would recommend you to do on your iPhone. And like I said, these are, you know, pretty much universal. You can do these on most iPhones, but it's still a really cool thing that you have the ability of doing. So that's pretty much it. Let me know if you guys have any other questions or concerns. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.